previous statements. Go ahead. Hi there. My name is Jay Lang. I spend half my time in D3 and the other half of my time in D7. So this inter-district squabbling that I saw about, hey, whose problem is it? You guys got to share the load. I see it from both angles. But I'll come here today, and I spent four hours here. I probably have a parking ticket by now listening to this. I come here today because I'm trying to raise kids in the city. I've been in this city for 18 years. I came here from Kentucky. I spent 25 years trying to get here from Kentucky. You all understand why I tried to get here from Kentucky. How many of us are trying to raise kids here in the city? How many of us? Like five? Okay. So for those of us that have kids, if our kids are trying cigarettes, if they're taking the fork and they're stabbing that fork inside the electoral outlet, what do we do? How do we handle that? Do we tell our kids, oh, yeah, you know what? Here, let me give you a separate space you can stab the fork in the electrical outlet. Here, let me buy you some more cigarettes, because I don't approve of this behavior, but I'm going to give you some cigarettes to smoke because I can't control your behavior. Is that what we do? Is that how we teach our kids? I didn't come here and live here for 18 years and spend all my life to be a parent to show my kids how to smoke cigarettes. And so this problem that we have today, Mr. Fireman, I apologize, I can't remember your name. You hit the nail on the head. The nail on the head was <clears throat> the third scenario. When we're finding homeless people, they accept to go into the homeless navigation center, but once they're in the navigation center, we find out they're not there for the help that we taxpayers are funding. <clears throat> That taxpayers that I spend three months out of my life every single year to pay my property tax bill, the homeless person comes to the NAV Center and says, I just wanted the seven-day bed. I didn't want help. Mr. Kaczynski, he showed reams of data. I don't know if I believe all the data. Like, I share the same questions about his data that you guys have, and as well as you, Mr. Peskin, even though you're not here, and as well as you, Ms. Ronin, even though you're not here. That data was a bit shifty to me, but the one thing that struck out at me is SF is bearing more than its fair share of the load. Forty-something percent of the regional homeless are here in San Francisco. Another 40 percent in Contra Costa and the rest in the other counties. Why is it only our problem, through our generosity, to allow the seven-day beds for people that don't want help, and then we spin our wheels, and we try to figure out why is it that we can't get more navigation centers built. Why is that? I'll tell you why. It's because the constituents, your constituents, supervisors, all of us in the city, we're sick of it. You see this list? You know where this list comes from? I have another list. This is from next door. This is from next door Knob Hill, D3. I posted a meeting invitation for this meeting last night with my good friend Lisa there, sitting in the back. Thousands of respondents have been Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. I'm sorry, because they got to go to work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker.